Guys, I've got the Coleman Instant Up 6P10 set up behind me here. Stick with us. I want to take you for a walkthrough. Hit it. We're down here today at the Brown Hill Creek Terrace Park, which is 15 minutes from Adelaide City, 15 minutes from the beach, right near the Adelaide Hills. It's a nice, quiet, shady little caravan park in Adelaide's eastern suburbs. They've given us space to set up some products for you today. I've got the Coleman Instant Up 6 behind me here. I'm gonna take you for a walk through. So I wanna start at the front of the tent here. Well, we've got the awning set up. Now these poles are included with your kit. Um, this gives you a protected entrance to the tent. If you don't want this set up, you can either roll it up completely or it zips closed on the front here to give us a nice weather protected fly over the top of our tent. Now I'm about 185 centimeters high, so these poles are around about 180 centimeters high, so there's a reasonable amount of headspace. Now before we step inside the tent, I just want to take you for a walk around the outside. We'll go to the side here where the windows are. Now coming around to the side of the tent here, this is the longer side of the tent, and these windows feature on both sides. So zipped up like this, it gives us plenty of weather protection. There's a zip and some Velcro uh, flaps, store flaps on each side of the zip here to keep the water out, and we can actually peg these out with these guy ropes to give us ventilated protection. Alternatively, they roll up completely like this. There's tabs at the top here to be able to secure the window right open, which opens it up to a mesh here to give us ventilation throughout the tent. That's looking into another mesh window and an internally adjustable privacy panel that I'll show you shortly. Now, as I mentioned, this window is also mirrored on the other side and coming around to the back of the tent here, we've also got a slight, another slightly uh, smaller window, same features with a storm flap and we can also pick that one open for ventilation at the rear. Let's step back around to the front of the tent. I want to show you the vestibule and then we'll have a look inside. So just coming around to the front of the tent here again, where the entrance is. Um, so underneath the awning that we've got set up here, when this is zipped closed, it creates a vestibule. This is about 60 centimeters wide here. So enough storage for some boots and a small amount of gear. And while I'm down here, I mentioned I've got this set up on a ground sheet that is about 3.05 meters wide and about 4.8 meters long. So it's bigger than the size of the tent. So I've had to fold it up a little bit to allow for the pegs but it works pretty well. While I'm here, I wanna talk about the fabrics that the tent's made of. Now the fly sheet is 150 denier polyester. It's got a 1500 mil waterhead rating. So it's pretty good for, for most uh, wet weather conditions that you'd be in. In the interior here is another 150 denier polyester. It's a bit more breathable than the fly sheet, um, but it's still a nice tough fabric. Then in the doorways here, there's a, it's a double panel. So on the outside here, we've got a mesh and then there's a solid panel on the inside as well. So we can have either um, both of them zipped up for weather protection, or we can just have the fly sheet, uh, sorry, the, the mesh door open for ventilation and a bit of insect protection. Now this isn't an ultra fine mesh. It's gonna give you protection from flies and most large insects. Probably not gonna give you midge protection though, but it is a nice durable mesh. Now the floor is um, a polyethylene, a welded polyethylene. So it's a, it's a tarp type material. So it's got that crinkly sort of feel, but it is nice and durable. Lastly, the frame, this inner frame here is all steel. It's got plastic components in the knuckles, the nylon knuckle components, um, and the awning poles that are included are also a steel. Let's step inside the tent. I'll show you what it's like in there. And stepping inside the tent here, we've got about 1.9 meters of headspace in the middle of the tent here. It's about 1.5 at the doorway where I walked through there. As I look at the sides of the tent, we've got both windows open here. This is an internally adjustable privacy screen at the bottom here that I've got rolled down. The one in the back here at the moment is uh, zipped up, so I can actually open these from the inside without having to get out of the tent at night. I can roll that up and secure it with the tab here. There's another one of those that feature on this side here, so we've got tons of ventilation all around. Have a look at the top in the center here. There's a little, um, quite, a, quite a heavy duty plastic clip. Uh, for lanterns or even if just to secure keys, the things we don't want to lose. But they can work in conjunction with the clips that run down the side here that follow right down to the corner here where there's a power access point to get our 12 volt or our 240 volt power in if we want to power our lantern from there. At each corner of the tent, we've got pockets, mesh pockets, one on this side here and one on the other side over here as well, just for storage. There's three compartments to those pockets. Then at the very base, if we talk about the sleeping space, we've got 330 centimeters in length and 270 centimeters in width. Probably quite comfortable three to four person, really roomy two person, but common do say it's a six, so you could squeeze six in here if you wanted. 
I've got some air beds that I'm going to put in here to give you an idea of how much space you've got inside this tent. First, you've got to start with a couple of singles. So this is two single air beds. So these measure about 187 in length and about 99 centimetres in width. I've got probably 40, 50 centimetres of space in between here and I've still got room at the end of the air beds here to stand up and get changed plus storage if I like. Now I've also got a double high queen size air bed that I'm going to put in here. I reckon it's going to fit in next to one of these single beds. I'll see how it goes. Now this double high queen size air bed measures about 200 centimetres in length or just short of and a little bit over 150 centimetres in width. So that fits in here pretty comfortably with an XL single air bed next to it as well. So you could very comfortably fit a family of three in here and you've still got storage. So plenty of room inside the Instant Up 6P tent. And that is our walkthrough of the Coleman Instant Up 6P tent. It's easy to set up, it's affordable, and it's a great tent for your short stay camping getaways. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au, lowest prices every day. I hope that was useful. We'll see you next time. If you like that video, folks, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest and greatest information. Got any questions? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a like or check out our other Instant Up videos like these ones down here.